The way that Volume 8 left off with the cliffhanger ending, having it, everyone who fell in the central location transported to another world, lends itself very nicely to the idea that over the course of Volume 9, or at least by the beginning of Volume 10, there is very likely going to be a time skip that takes place. And this is also reinforced by the fact that Salem, a majority of her forces, were wiped out in Atlas and she'll need time to recuperate before she makes her final assault on Vacuo. And on top of that, there's also the numerous people that were just dropped in Vacuo and need to re-establish. That's not something that is going to take place overnight and is probably not something that is going to be the focus of Volume 9 as a whole. I hope we do see glimpses of Vacuo and how everyone's holding up, but it's likely going to skip a number of days at a time, possibly even weeks, and in particular, the fact that there are a number of people in another realm, it is very likely that a time skip is going to take place very differently than it did after Volume 3, where after Volume 3 it was just a straight sixth month time skip for every one of the characters, I think it's going to work a little bit differently for the fact that time is probably going to work a little bit differently in this other realm. If time flowed at the exact same speed in this other realm, then one week in the other realm would be equivalent to one week on Remnant. But if time flowed faster in this other realm, then that would mean one week in Remnant could be even an entire year in this other realm. And I think it's going to be something similar to that, reinforced by the fact that Oscar, when he was talking about the girl who fell through the world, the fairy tale of how the girl was sad when she finally made her way back home. And the reason for that was because she wasn't the same girl anymore. This idea that the person who went to the other world and came back wasn't the same person who left in the first place is inspired a couple different ideas in my mind, and this is definitely one of them. Where only a small amount of time is going to pass on Remnant, but for our heroes, Team Ruby, Jean, and Neo, something more akin to maybe a year or two is going to pass, at least a number of months. This will not only give them time to recuperate from everything that they went through in Atlas, the emotional struggles that they had, be able to deal and accept their own shortcomings and mistakes that they've made, but also give them time to explore this other realm in detail, and for us as viewers to see more of how the Ruby universe is expanding. And it would also give these characters time to learn new abilities if they encountered other races of beings or something of that nature that I plan to cover in a different video. But in particular, it will give them time to train, get a little bit stronger, and be more prepared to face what they will have to when they do return to Remnant. But when they do return, if something like two years had passed, then the characters returning would certainly not be the same people that were lost in the first place. If only a week or two had passed on Remnant, then the people coming back would be very different than what they had been when they left, and that would create a very interesting character dynamic between a lot of these different characters, something that we as viewers may not be as receptive to, because this would change a lot of the dynamics between characters that we've come to know and love throughout eight volumes, and then one volume later everything's kind of shifted and changed. The characters would still fundamentally be themselves, but, uh, you know, it would uh, throw a wrench into things to say the least. Then again, Salem's already doing that on numerous occasions, so I think it would be an interesting way to take the series. And I do think that something like this is going to happen. It may not be on the scale of two years, but something of even a couple months I do think is likely. I do think that the time in this other realm will flow faster than it does on Remnant. And that is pretty much out of necessity. And this is because on Remnant, Salem is still a looming threat. Eventually she is going to come back and lay siege to Vacuo to eventually get that Relic of Destruction. So if time flowed at the exact same rate as it does on Remnant, in this other realm, then Team Ruby would be under a very strict time limit to be able to find a way out of this realm and get back to Remnant to be able to face Salem when she does lay siege to Vacuo. But if time flows faster in this other realm, then that gives them more time to, well, explore the realm, find a way out, and make things seem less rushed, and also make this realm seem like something that is supposed to be inescapable. Because if they are just transported to this other realm and they find a way out of it within like a week or two, whereas, you know, only a week or two has passed on Remnant, time flows the same, then it doesn't really feel like they were that 
trapped, in my opinion. I feel like they need to be trapped there for a fairly long time for it to feel real, for there to be some consequence that they were trapped there for two years and they lost two years of their lives with the people that they love in Remnant. And the people in Remnant, they have to suffer with the loss of their loved ones that fell in this other realm. Sure, it may only be a week or two, maybe a month in Remnant, but still a lot of time for them to have to deal with these emotions. And when everyone else returns, then there's also that readjustment period of you know, two years have now passed for these characters where only a couple weeks have for everyone else. The loss of Atlas would still be fresh, whereas these other characters have had time to cope and grow from their experiences, etc. It would create an interesting dynamic, and Volume 10 would be kind of readjusting to that dynamic before Salem would eventually show up again. And I really am focusing on this two years that I think is going to take place in this other realm because of the age that these characters are at. Right now, Ruby is 17 years old, and the remainder of her team is 19 years old. Ruby at 17 is at the age that most people would be when they are first accepted into a Huntsman Academy. She is currently at the age of a first-year student, and Weiss, Blake, and Yang are at the age of second-year students. I think Aging them up by two years would give them that extra bit of maturity, because frankly, right now with the decisions that they have had to deal with, especially throughout the course of volumes 7 and 8, are way too much for 17 to 19 year olds to be having to deal with. They are literally having the weight of the world put on their shoulders, and they're still teenagers. They still don't have the mental maturity to be able to be making all of these decisions with the experience that would be necessary or is likely going to allow them to make more informed decisions than would otherwise be necessary. This is why they wanted to, you know, refer to Ironwood, look to someone like Ozpin or Crow, someone who does have more of this experience, this worldly knowledge, and would be more informed to make these decisions. And of course, whether you have the age and wisdom or not, you can still make bad decisions. Team Ruby has had their fair share of them, as well as Leonardo, Ozpin, <laughs> Ironwood, like, everyone has made poor decisions, but having more experience to draw on definitely helps make more informed decisions. And I think giving that extra two years to Team Ruby and everyone would give them a little bit extra maturity and more experience to draw upon. Again, it would create a little bit of a different dynamic when they finally return to Remnant, but I think it would work well overall. Now, one thing I do have to mention, if time does flow differently in this other realm, it is possible that time would flow slower. That one week in this other realm could equate to one month or longer in Remnant, but I think that is entirely unlikely. As I said before, Salem is going to lay siege to Vacuo. If Team Ruby and everyone is stuck in this other realm for an extended period of time, they're not supposed to be able to escape easily, considering the only way that they were able to get there in the first place was thanks to the Relic of Creation, which they no longer have, and also Ambrosius warned them not to fall, so it's probably something that um, shouldn't happen? So it shouldn't be something that is easy for them to escape from. If they're trapped there for a long period of time and time flows faster in Remnant, then the battle for Vacuo would already be over by the time they did return, and they would return to a world that would possibly be turned to dust. If Salem was able to get all of the relics together, summon the gods, the gods judged humanity poorly, and, well, everything was wiped out. Team Ruby and everyone would return to nothing, and I really doubt that's the way the series is going to go. Another point why I think that time would flow differently in the first place in this other realm is because of what we've already seen from the other realm. The order that characters have fallen into this other realm. Yang fell first, followed by Neo, then by Ruby and Blake, and then Weiss, and then Jean. So, the order that is very important to why I think time flows differently is Neo fell before Blake and Ruby and Blake and Ruby fell at the exact same time. But in the little snippet that we saw from Volume 9, Neo was falling right alongside Ruby, and we didn't see Blake at all. She could have been falling alongside Ruby, like somewhere off screen wasn't able to reach Ruby to help her fight off Neo, but Neo and Ruby were falling at the exact same time. And then Ruby ended up alone on the beach in the other realm. 
So space is definitely distorted and flows differently in this other realm, and we don't even know if all of the prominent characters that fell in the central location ended up in the same realm are on this same island. As I discussed in previous videos, I do think it's very likely that there are multiple realms and they could have each ended up in a different one. But because space has been distorted like that already, I think that time would be as well. Time would flow differently in this realm than it does on Remnant. It would allow Team Ruby to have more time to explore it, to, you know, eventually find one another and find a way out of this realm without there being too much consequence for them being gone for a very long time on Remnant itself. I think in the overall storyline it just makes more sense for Team Ruby to be in this other realm for longer and not have as much time pass on Remnant. There's still going to be an interesting dynamic no matter how it breaks down, even if time flows at the exact same length, but let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Do you think it is likely that we will see a time skip in the first place, somewhere over the course of Volume 9, whether it is something akin to just a couple weeks here or there, or do you think it's going to be like a couple days are skipped on Remnant while a couple months or something is skipped in this other realm as people are exploring, etc., trying to find a way off, trying to find their lost friends? And frankly, do you think that time would flow differently in this other realm, that it would flow faster than on Remnant, and so leading to a time skip not only for every single character being aged up, but Team Ruby being aged up compared to when they left on Remnant, so that they would be two years older than when they left, or something of that nature. I'm really curious to know what you guys think, so make sure you let me know down in the comments below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to subscribe and join the Guild of the Eternal Flame. There's plenty more videos that are coming. I've thought up so many different ideas after the end of Volume 8 that I just hadn't had a chance to make yet, so there is plenty more theories and other analyses coming down the pipeline. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.